On Saturday, the 7th of March, we're hosting a charity coaching marathon. Uh, all proceeds of that are going to Hope House Hospice. And we're coaching for 12 hours straight through, uh, followed by an exhibition match and a charity raffle. We had a rough idea of within the first week or so how many people we were going to have, who wanted to be involved. Um, we offered our slots to people, but then we actually had to narrow it down to half hour due to the popularity. So I've got um, a total of five hours, full hours, and then I've got 19 half hours. So overwhelmed with the, uh, with the response, really. It's good. After the 12 hours coaching, we're going to be doing a hour doubles match. Sam and his dad versus myself and someone off adult social group that we run. Um, it's going to be a bit fun. Hopefully, I'll be able to see the tennis ball. I should be seeing it like a beach ball by then. Coaching is a bit more standstill. You have the odd sort of break by having to feed the ball to people, but playing an exhibition match and be required to play to a half decent level should be uh, quite entertaining. We chose Hope House because a couple of the guys here come along to our sessions, our social tennis sessions are heavily involved with the charity. And Kyle and I work with a lot of children in a lot of varying communities around Wrexham and the wider area, so we thought it would be a good charitable cause for us to um, make money for. We've very kindly been invited to go and see where our money will be uh, put towards at the Hope House in Oswald Street. So we'll be visiting there, Kyle and I, and uh, sort of seeing what our proceeds have done for them. The centre have very kindly given courts for free all day, so like I said, anything they would have paid towards the courts are going back to Hope House. People can still donate on our Just Giving page, I think it's justgiving.com slash tennis. that's on Facebook and Twitter, um, and like I said, all, again, all proceeds from that are going to Hope House. <laughs>